second inning. Beltre leads it off with the Phillies. And the pitch is low. Beltre is five. Home runs career of home run number 400. Beltre skies is one to the right there. That's a base hit. This is going to go all the way to the wall. Beltre is going to end up at second base. So a double for Beltre to start off the bottom of the second. Oh, this one was hit hard, and it just got down in a hurry, and it started going all the way over to the wall. And Beltre ends up at second with a stand-up double. It's Salvador Perez. He was one for two in yesterday's game. He had three RBIs. That pitch is in. One ball. One ball and no strikes. That's the second double for Beltre in his season. There's two doubles in two games. Not saying he's going to have 162 doubles. Not saying that at all. A broken bat foul. Perez oh, was almost the hero uh, in Kansas City. Played in the World Series with the Royals. Was almost the hero. He was the final at bat. One ball and two strikes. Another foul, one and still one and two. That is a foul. And Buckholz throw a lot of pitches here. One on second, nobody out. Line ball, right field, and Victorino will put it away. And then as one out, Beltre will remain at second. There's Dominic Brown. There you see the Philly Fanatic. Ball. Now takes outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Foul, one and one. Ball. No, ball because it's going to keep the pitches low and inside. Doesn't want to give up anything, throw anything over the middle that Brown can crush here. That is a line shot and caught by Hanley Ramirez. There's two outs here in the second. So to bring up Andres Blanco, the shortstop. Really he's trying to get a run here in the second after a lead off double. It bounces up there. Nobody will advance here. Oh, Beltre advances, and he ends up at third base. It bounced up there. Beltre got a jump and ends up at third. It'll be a stolen base for Beltre. So they'll score the wild pitch. They won't score the stolen base. It'll be scored a wild pitch. One ball and no strikes to Blanco here. And that is 
Outside, two balls and no strikes. Two and one. Oh, well, coming up in the seventh inning, we'll have some major news for our broadcast this season. We'll find that out in the seventh inning. That is hit foul. Back through the middle off the pitcher. Throw over the first is in time. That'll end the inning. So Volkov escapes there with just one hit. We go to the third. No score. Here's Ryan Hannigan. Yesterday he was one for three. Ryan Hannigan. Cliff Lee in his third inning of work. He has thrown 22 pitches. And that is in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Ball. Outside, one and one. That's low, two and one. Two balls and two strikes. That is one and left, and that is a base hit. So Hannigan on with a single. Okay, don't get rattled. And baseball history, Braves outfield, Henry Angren swats home run 7-14 off the Dyersers downing, surpassing Babe Ruth for the most home runs in MLB history as on this date in 1974. Here is Clay Buckholz. Has not had a lot of bats this season because he plays in the American League. So he'll try to bunt his way on and a good bunt. They're going to go to second for one on the first, not in time. So they do get the lead runner at second. Bocos is at first. Oh, this ball bounced. Howard got this in the second in time, but. He wasn't, he didn't have a chance to get Bocos even if Lee was set. Nice job by Bocos to beat that one out. So bet, so bet. He was one for one with a single. That is a ball. One ball and no strikes. That one is lined in the left field. That's a base hit. Volkos will stand at second. And that's that second hit of the game. Now batting number 15, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia will bat. Oh, that pitch was right down the middle. And Betts just dragged it on the outside corner and got it in the left field. Here's Dustin Pedroia. One out, two on. Oh, that one was foul. No balls in one strike. Two quick strikes on Petroya. Oh, 
off the up there, one and two. Well, it's important to Cliff Lee get it out here. Don't want to have bases loaded and one out. Then David Ortiz, Hanley Ramirez, and Pablo Sandoval. That is a big order to take down here. Two balls and two strikes. Fly ball in the shallow field. The infield fly rule is in effect. Nobody will advance. So two outs. And take a look at Ortiz. Got it off the top of his bat. He is disappointed that he couldn't get it going. And David Ortiz is the batter. The lead trying to get out of this inning. That is a strike. Right on the inside corner. Two strikes. So Lee looking to get out of this inning. Has handled Ortiz well. And these first two at bats. Trying to get out here with one more. That is. Line on the third base belt He fires over the second for the out. And that'll retire the top of the third for the Red Sox. They get two hits. They leave two on. We go to the bottom of the third. Scoreless here in Citizen Plain Park. Here's pitcher Cliff Lee. He does have a major league home run to his credit. And a strike on Lee. His ball hit. Made a catcher, and Lee is thrown out. One out. The center fielder, number two, and Robin. Here's Ben Rivera. 0 for 1. He grounded out in the first inning. Hello, inside. One ball with no strike. Two strikes. Bear skies this one in the infield. And Pedroyo put that away. It's two outs here. And the third. There's Chase Utley. He struck out on the first inning. Hit foul. One and one. Two, one. Two balls and one strike. Here we go. Ball three. Three and one. Brandon Jordan waits on deck. Foul, three and two. My ball, center field, that is hit well, deep, and it is gone! Betts tried to jump and make the catch, but he couldn't. Chase Utley, his first home.
That's the Phillies' first home run this season. Chase Hutley, Hutley hit it in the dead center field. And the Phillies are on the board. Yeah, well, that pitch was dead to rights. Utley got a beat on it right down the middle. And Betts almost came and made this catch, but it just got into the Ivy in center field. Home run number one for Utley. That one went 415 feet. And Jordan takes a strike. Jordan Sky, this one in the center field. That ball is hit pretty well. Hit pretty well! And did he catch it? Yes, he did! Betts hung in, leaps up and makes this catch. What a play by Mookie Betts. We go to the fourth. Matt Vasturgeon comes your way. What a catch by Betts. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Well, I think he got away with one right there. I mean, this is a fastball right down the middle. And he just smokes this ball too, but unfortunately, he hits it right at someone. So it becomes a fairly easy out. Pablo Sandoval will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on its way from Lee. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. Under it is Revere to take it in, and there are two gone now. Yeah, it's not like he needed any help. He's pitching well enough as it is, but this is now two pitches and two outs here in the inning. And he's growing more and more confident with every passing batter. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here's the versatile outfielder, Shane Victorino. First pitch coming. Cut ball fastball one. inside, ball one. one -oh. Pitch home to Victorino. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Seems like he's gotten away with more than a few location mistakes so far. Yeah, and that's not going to last forever, especially in this place. Here's the one one. That's right there at the belt, one and two now. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so. That's one he may want back. And this is taken by Victorino to even the count at two and two. Here he comes on two and two. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down one nothing. Ryan Howard will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And now a pitch on the way. And this one's downstairs, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Now here's a ground ball that will get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. A 
Well, that shift can be a gamble sometimes. They're playing straight up. This is probably an out, but since they're shifted well over to right field, this finds a seam. Adrian Beltre will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Now the first pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. He set now the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's Buck Holtz on one and one. He's running towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Well, not exactly what he wanted to do right here, I'm sure, but with the runner moving, no shot at second base to get him, so they're going to move a guy into scoring position here with just one away. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Yeah, this ball's hit high enough that he can go back and tag at second base. So that's a good job of moving up the extra 90 feet now with two outs. Dominic Brown will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Here's a 1-0. Swing and a miss. A little too anxious there. One and one. That splitter, it's only coming in around 86, but it's really falling through the zone. Here comes the one one. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to Ortiz, and that will retire the side. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it one to nothing. Xander Bogarts will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Xander Bogarts. Here's the first offering. A ball hit hard to the left side. But Beltre is able to get his glove up and spear this one out of midair for the first out. So after the line out on the fastball, might be a pretty good time to check out the pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys will get it up to over 90, as you can see, 94 for one, 91 for the other. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in the catcher, Ryan Hannigan. First pitch coming. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Lee Ruddy with the 0 1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Here's the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Now, Here's Lee with the 2-1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. And, and he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Here he comes, 3-1. 
And he misses ball four. The pitcher, number 11, Clay Buckholz. Clay Buckholz will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. First offering on the way. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Yeah, you want to put this down to the right side, force that first baseman to field it, but that ball is butted just way too hard. So that's a good decision defensively to go ahead and take the force at second. Mookie Betts will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. There you go now, Billy. Drive your out! Here's the first offering. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Pause, now the pitch. And now this is foul tipped at the plate, and that appeared to catch a lot of the home plate umpire in the process. Hope he's all right down there. Yeah, well, we could hear that one from up here. Now give him a second. He should be all right. A runner on first with two away. From the stretch. Now a fastball here is hit softly to the left side of the infield. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. Red Sox leave one. It remains one nothing. Andres Blanco will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Andres Blanco. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a fly ball. Victorino will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for route number one. And you got to remember, Victorino was a center fielder in Philadelphia. He was a left fielder when he moved to L.A. for a few months. And now he's a right fielder here with the Sox. So he's a pretty versatile player out there, and he makes a nice play on the move right there. In now. Cliff Lee, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Now the two-one pitch. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Two, two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. That's an easy take right there on the three, two pitch. Not all that inviting at all. I want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead, now he's on with one away. Here's the first pitch to him. Swinging a grounder fouled off to the left.
runner at first here, one man out. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. From the belt, the pitch lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Here's another 0 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy out, he'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Now the first pitch, Chase Utley stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. Now, it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Chopper, foul. Let's go one more time, baby! Ready now on 1-1. One and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Here comes the 2-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. We'll see the former MVP Dustin Pedroia when we get back. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Phillies one, and the Red Sox nothing. And here is Dustin Pedroia. He'll start things out against Cliff Lee as we get the inning underway. And here's the first pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. One one on the way. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Now the one two, and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The 2-2 now from Lee. Now a ball line fouled up and over the Phillies dugout. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, he gets a glove on it here to knock it down. But he knows he's got no chance at first, so we'll see how they score that. Most likely an infield single. Yeah, I think this has got to be an infield single. You see the reaching attempt there at short. Even if he fields this ball cleanly, there's no guarantee they were going to get him at first. And this is indeed going to be a base hit. Into the box, David Ortiz. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. Now here's a good spot to finally break through against this guy. You've got the leadoff man on, the heart of the order's coming up, and maybe this is a good chance to get that goose egg off the scoreboard. 1-0 on the way. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. The 1-1 home. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this will be a base hit for Ortiz. Here's Pedroia on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And the runner will score from first. Well, this guy's been the heart and soul of this ball club for a long time now. He delivers for him again. Picks up the RBI on the base hit here. Hanley Ramirez 
will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Okay, pitch out. First pitch coming. And this is hit hard to the right side. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. As a look, now the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's going to steal, I'm telling you. The 1-1 from Lee. And this is taken for a called strike. And he's not in love with that call either. It's 1-2 and two now. And maybe that's off the black just a little bit, but when you're around the plate as much as he's been, you're going to find that you're going to get a few calls like that. One, two. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Here's the two and two offering. And this is going to be a foul ball. The two two. Now a double play ball here for Beltre at third. Utley for one. Over to Howard, and indeed they get them both. Well, this ball is hit sharply, but you'll see the pitch is working its way down in the strike zone, and that's very tough to elevate. It's going to wind up being an easy double play ball. Pablo Sandoval will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep toward the corner and right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up, all tied at one and one. Brandon Jordan. Start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Whoa, but that's just self-defense as he spears it for the out. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there. Not much to speak of at all. Ryan Howard will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. And that misses one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. The one-one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Not the first time he's felt the squeeze tonight. Yeah, he's looking and saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? Now the two one. He's fallen behind now three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters count. This is where you need to pounce. The 3-1 is on the way. 
Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. As he's first pitch swinging here, and this is on the ground toward the hole. So flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. A good inning of work there from Clay Buckle. And it remains a one-all tie. Seventh inning. And Shane Victorino one takes ball. a strike. No one ball and no strikes to Victorino. Like the uh, announcement is, we will be streaming live on Twitch throughout the 2015 MLB season. We will be streaming live on Twitch. Three balls and no strikes. Vander Bogart waits on deck. Phillies don't have bullpen activity yet. Lee has thrown 74 pitches. And he walks Victorino. The shortstop, number two, Xander Bogart. So Xander Bogart will be the batter. And Ryan Sandberg says that's enough, and Lee will be taken out. Lee has thrown 74 pitches. He is responsible for the runner at first base. And Lee tips his hat out to the crowd. Justin DeFreitas will come in and pitch for the Phillies. 6'4", 225 pounds. He's 27 years of age. He will go up against Sandra Bogart. Phillies have Ken Giles up in the bullpen. That is a strike. We will be on switch throughout the season. Some big things coming up here on the Leafs Baseball Video Game Network and the UPN 57 YouTube channel. In fact, Friday's game will be on WBRN and the fourth game will be on Video Game Network. That one is foul. One ball with two strikes. There's another five. Tied in one here in the seventh. Swing Ball. Two balls and two strikes. Oh, you know, this is an important part of the ball game where you got to be careful. The Red Sox have those dangerous hitters in the middle of that lineup. So you don't want to give up a lead here in the seventh inning. There's a strikeout. There's one down. And it'll bring up Ryan Hannigan. Well, that could have changed up four of them. And Bogart went after it. Here's Hannigan. Runner goes, there's a ground ball, it's gonna get it out at first, and that's it. So they will rule it a sacrifice. Runner, Victorino at second, two outs. And let's see, and they will get a pinch hitter, Alan Craig. So Buckles night will be up. Craig will try to give the Red Sox the lead. 
so Barkov could be the pitcher at record here. And that one is hit foul. Both pitchers giving up a run. Oh and two. And it is a base hit. The left field. Victorino is going to score. And the Red Sox have a two to one lead in the seventh inning. Going RBI for Alan Craig. So Buckhaus is the pitcher of record right now. Mookie Betts he is had an eventful third inning. He couldn't get Utley's homer, but he got Jordan's homer and leaped over and made the catch. He has had two singles in this game. Cliff Lee is the pitcher of record now because he was responsible for Victorino. He's outside, one ball and no strikes. One and one. On, Phillies, let's go. Two balls and one strike. Two one. That one is hit and on the shortstop, and they will take care of that. That will end the inning. Andres Blanco with the play. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's 2-1 to one Boston. Your attention, please. Anthony Favell will be the pitcher. He is 6 feet, 190 pounds. He's 30 years old. Salvador Perez, glide out and lined out. He's over two. That is a strike on Perez. No balls and two strikes. Did he go? Yes, he did. That is a strikeout. So one out here in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Dominic Brown. 0 for 2. And Brown fouls it on the right side. Well, an update on the Flyers and Sixers situation. We will be back if the Flyers make the playoffs. We will have the playoff coverage on there. We'll have a couple more Flyers games this season because we're trying to focus on Phillies baseball. And if the Sixers make the playoffs, we will have Sixer coverage throughout the postseason. Uh, right now, the Phillies here and the Boston Red Sox, but there will be some more Flyers and Sixer games, so don't worry, there will be more of those to come. There's three balls and one strike on Dominic Brown. For those hockey fans and Flyers fans and Sixer fans, you will see a couple of more of those games. Mainly, they will be produced on the weekends. Three balls and one strike to Dominic Brown. And Brown fouls it. We won't 
be on the air for any Phillies baseball games Saturday and Sunday so that we can bring you the Sixers and Flyers but after Friday we will return with baseball Monday as Andres Blanco and remember you can see Phillies games all the time on Twitch Outside, one ball and no strikes. Low, two and up. That's one's hit foul. Balls and two strikes. Struck him out. That'll end the inning. Phillies go in order. We go to the eighth. Two to one, Red Sox. Dustin Pedroia will lead off the eighth. Leading off for the Red Sox. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Defreitas still in the game. No balls in one strike. That is foul. Foul, no balls and two strikes. Hit to the first baseman, Howard. He'll step in the bag, and that is the first out. Uh, Clay Buckholz and Cliff Lee take a look at their comparisons. Both pitched six innings. Lee gave up two runs. Bocos giving up one. But Bocos is giving up three hits. Here's David Ortiz. He has an RBI in this game. And that's a strike. No balls and one strike. One and one. <laughs> one and two to count. Live ball, right field, that's pretty well hit. Jordan makes the catch. What a diving catch for Brandon Jordan. And take a look at the Freitas, he likes that. Jordan with the diving catch, two outs here in the eighth. And here's Hanley Ramirez. Low for a ball. One ball, no strikes. One ball and no strikes. One ball, two 
And Freitas has come along and pitched well, except he gave up that run. But that was it. He has pitched well after that. That is hit foul, but that is not on his hands. He was re that was Lee's responsibility. Right now, he's just trying to get out of the top of the eighth. Two balls and two strikes. Foul. Call third strike right down the middle. Ramirez is out on strikes. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The Red Sox with a two and one lead. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Junichit Tazawa. Junichi Tazawa. 5'11, 200 pounds. He's 28 years old. Your attention, please. Xavier Paul will be the pinch hitter. That is in for a strike. Billy's trying to to the rally here in the bottom of the eighth. Over foul, two strikes. Ball. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Struck him out. Goes one out here in the eighth. The center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Ben Revere. Not what he did yesterday, but he is 0 for 3. Calling a strikeout in the fifth. A ball, one ball and no strikes. Rivera, and that is to the second baseman, and that is two outs. Here's Chase Utley. He home in the third inning. Utley would like to have one again here to tie this game. Brandon Jordan waits on deck here. Yep. Utley takes a strike. Two strikes. Inside, two and two. Nearly it hit Utley. Jordan waits on deck. Utley's trying to draw a walk or get something. Full count to Utley. Back through the middle, a base hit. It almost hit the pitcher right in the face. 
Utley's at first with a two-out single. Oh, that one almost hit to Salma right in the face. There's Brandon Jordan. He was robbed of a home run. Freddie Godless will be the pinch runner at first base. There's Brandon Jordan. Over two with a walk. That is low, one and oh. Unmarlin, no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. Two and one. Three balls and one strike. Ball four. He walks Jordan. Two on, two out. Here's Ryan Howard. He singled in the fourth inning. He is one for three. There's a strike. Ryan Howard looking to get a big hit in a big way here. One and one. One and two. Adrian Beltre waiting on deck as well. Philly's got that power lineup. But Howard trying to get on or get a big hit here. That is foul ball down the right field side. This game's going to be tied. As Utley crosses the plate, the Phillies have tied this game at two here in the eighth. Well, Ryan Howard delivers in a big way. This ball was shot past Ortiz, and there was no way that Ortiz was going to get it. The Phillies tie this game here in the bottom of the eighth. Greg Breeslow will come in for the rest as he pitched in yesterday, this afternoon game. Two innings, one walk, and two strikeouts. Jeff Brancourt will be the pinch runner at first. Adrian Beltre the batter. Jordan's at third. Two outs in the eighth. And that is a ball. One ball and no strikes. Oh. 
little pop up and this will be caught. And that'll end the inning on the top of his bat. A little half swing. But the Phillies do tie the game here in the bottom of the eighth. Howard's RBI single as we go to the ninth, 2-2. Two -two. Your attention, please. This change for the Phillies. A couple of changes for the Phillies. Freddie Galvis will Number play second, second base. Your attention, please. Ken Giles is the new pitcher. He pitched in one game. And then Darren Ruff will be at first base for the Phillies. Here is Pablo Sandoval. And Sandoval fouls it and it's one, one, no balls and one strike. Pop up and caught. Salvador Perez with the catch. There's one out. The right fielder, number 18, Shane Victorino. Well, he got it right down the middle of the plate, but he and uh, pop up. Sandoval almost, if he had a good beat on that bat, he could have driven out of the park. But here's Shane Victorino, and this is low. One ball and no strikes. Ninth inning, 2-2. Two -two. Two and oh. Low, three balls and no strikes. Andrew Bogarts waits on deck. This is not a save situation. Three and one. That's caught by Galvis. Nice catch by Freddie Galvis. Two away. Here's Brock Holt. Oh, takes a pitch outside. One ball and no strikes. Oh, 26 years old. 5'10", 185 pounds. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. Two and one. <laughs> Little tapper on the rough over the gap. It's got him. It got past rough gloves. But Gavis was right there to scoop it up. And over to Ken Giles. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're tied at two. Here's Salvador Perez here in the ninth. That pitch is low for a ball. One ball with no strikes. Breeze low, end of the game. Two balls and no strikes. Oh. 
Off, he got a half swing and his foul. Two balls and two strikes. Fly ball, right field, and it's going to be foul. Still two and two to Perez. Fly ball, center field, and Betts. So put this away. It's one out here in the ninth. Here's Dominic Brown. He's over three today. One to no. Pretty close game here. The pitches duel throughout the whole game. Brown, base hit the right field. And he is a one-out base runner here in the ninth inning. Andres Blanco. He's 0 for 3. That is a base hit to right field. Brown will go to second. Phillies have runners at first and second and one out. Two straight hits for the Phillies. Cameron Rupp, the only bench player left. And it'll, the Red Sox, they're going to make a double switch here. Well, those games are very important. Cameron Rupp, they're going to allow him to hit. One out. Brown at second. Blanco at first. Here's a strike. Ben Rivera waits on deck. One and one. Foul. Come on. Inside, two and two. Rough looking to be the hero. And a foul. Two and two. Full count now. Ben Rivera waits on deck. And you get Rivera on, all you need is to hit it in the outfield, and that'll win the game. Another foul. So Rupp staying alive, three balls and two strikes. Ball for he walked him, bases are loaded. Two out, one out, Ben Rivera coming to bat. Rivera is 0 for 4. 
He's looking to beat it here on this one. Either a walk or a base hit or a sack of flight, a fly in the outfield will win it. That is outside, inside for a ball. Rivera in the right field. This is going to win the game. As Dominic Brown comes in to score. The Phillies win it by the score of 3-2 to two on an RBI single by Ben Rivera. A come from behind victory. A much needed victory for the Phillies as they go to 2-0. In the young season, they take their first two games over the Red Sox. They win it 3-2. to two. And Chase Utley is the player of the game. He had two hits and a home run in the third inning. Here's Chase Utley right here. As he is the top player of the game. And he homered. In the third inning, they give the Phillies a one to nothing lead. And the Phillies are going to win it three to two. Ben Rivera the hero with the RBI single. Well, we'll be on Friday on WBRN 57 and on the Video Game Network, a double header. That should be three to two, and it's five to two. But in any event, the Phillies do win it. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk to you Friday from Philadelphia.